those are my picks for May. There's all others. You know, you're always going to have the pandas. <laughs> you know, they're released every other day. Yes, people, it's May. I thought I'd just let you know what I think is going to be some of the best drops in this month. But before I get into that, we need to have a look at what's dropped so far. I mean, I, well, when I dropped this video, a few trainers would have dropped already. So let's just have a look. I have to put my list because I can't remember off the top of my head if I'm honest with you. So we had the Jordan 2 White Cements. Um, I think this is a clean colorway. I'm not a Jordan 2 fan, so... You know, but for the silhouette itself, I think it's a clean colorway. Pharrell Williams with Human Race and Adidas dropped the Bubblegum remixes of the Sambas. In all, I think it's about six different colors. They look decent, but the pricing for them for a Samba, crazy. £170. Come on, man. No. No, 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 no. That's all I'm saying. We had some women's exclusive Jordan 1 Low Breads. They looked quite decent, if I'm honest with you. And we had the uh, Night Pulse dropped as well in May. So quite a few already dropped. But I think we should just get into what I believe will be probably the best of the bunch what are going to come out in May. So let's just get straight into this. So the first one we could look at is the, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, Jaritas, Jaritas Night SB Dunk Low Green. This has got like a canvas, like it's got a leather upper and a canvas overlay. There seems to be like a, is it a glass or something pouring out in orange on the heel? It's got a green sole and a normal dunk fit silhouette. And on the tongue, it's got the, again, that kind of liquid thing falling out. Is it a cup of tea or something? And you've got the Nike SB there and a little bit of orange. On a heel, you've got Nike. And on, on one shoe and on the other shoe, it's got Jaritas, which I believe is pour yourself a glass in Mexican. Yeah. So there you go. They are going for £110, and I believe that you'll get them on the Nike website. May even go on sneakers, but we'll have to see what happens on that one. On 11th of May, we've got the Jordan 11 Low, and these are called the Ye Yellow Snake Skin. Now, I believe these are coming in all family sizes, and they're going for £180. They're going to go in raffles. I can see it going on raffles already. You I think Offspring and all those kind of people are going to be doing those kind of raffles for them. It's a Jordan 11 low. The overlay, which is usually Peyton, is that it's a, it's a snakeskin colour with bits of white. The sole itself is yellow. It's decent. I mean, it's a Jordan 11, so it's going to be um, quite a comfortable kick. You've got to be a Jordan 11 kind of lover to get these ones, if you ask me. That's all I'm saying. Also on the 11th, um, New Balance are dropping their 9060 Arctic Grey silhouette. I... Just bought a pair of these. These are comfortable. These are comfortable. So I would recommend them to you. They're just different from what New Balance usually have. Now these are say they're going in a, they call them the Arctic Grey, but it's kind of a blue look to me. You know, the materials are going to be great. It's, I think it's got a webbing, a web upper with, you know, suede overlays. You've got an MB through the middle, suede dark blue tongue and you know just that 9060 unique soul to it so these began on new balance website i think they're going to be coming on some raffles like end so if you're in if you're into the 960s or 9060s definitely go and have a look at these if you want them now one of the big drops for me has to be the air max one premium sand drifts now these just look like a clean pair of kicks I don't know if it's a leather upper or a canvas upper, but they're clean. Typical Air Max 1. Uh, you've got a kind of beige or sand drift kind of color overlay going around the mud guard, etc. And the sole has that kind of speckled look to it as well, which is, it's just a great Air Max 1. I'm assuming they're going to go for what the retail prices are, which is around about £150, maybe £145, £150. So, you know, you can't go wrong with it, Air Max One. That's that's my opinion anyway. And they should be released everywhere, really, I think. Or, if, you know, you should be able to get them. That's all I'm saying. So next up for me will be 13th of May. We have the Jordan 4 Funders. Now, these are going in the full family size. 
uh, they'll be going for from I don't know fifty five pounds or forty eight pounds to the astronomical price for Jordan Four, which is now one hundred and ninety pounds. Black upper, yellow tongue with black webbing on it, black and yellow midsole and a black sole. Jordan Four silhouette, white jump man on a heel. What can I say? Now, next one for me is it's a kind of how can I put it? Oh, it it's called the Jordan Five Craft. Sorry, let me get the full name. Jordan 5 Craft Light or Wood Brown. Now, this to me could be a DJ Khaled kick. That's that's what colour it looks like. I know it's going in that craft thing where it's the, you know, like a canvas look in the kind of neutral colour. But it looks like it's got the the ice blue bottom on the sole. It's got a bit of orange on the tongue. The upper is like a light... What it, or wood brown colour, I suppose. And, you know, you've got the fire going through the middle, which is you, all just unique to the Jordan 5s. It's a nice kick. I think it's one I would actually try and get myself. These ones are going a bit cheaper than Jordan 4s. They're going for about £180. Again, I can see this being released on sneakers. I think other shops will have them raffles. It's a nice kick. You know, I just don't think you can go wrong with them. Jump man on the heel... Um, it looks like it's that rough kind of suede. Um, so, yeah, man, it's a craft. That's what they're doing. They're just making them, putting them neutral kicks out there. And I love the ice bottom blues as well, man. I just, they just, they just do it for me. Just do it for me. Now, next up for me has to be, um, released on the 20th of May, which is the, let me get this title right. It's the Spider Man across the spider. You, Spider-Verse, sorry, let me start again. It's a Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, Air Jordan 1, High, Next Chapter. Now, this is, always, this is, I believe, to the new film with Mark Morales, the Spider-Man cartoon and whatever, which is top film, top, top film. So these are being released. These are going to be a myth, I reckon, to cop. I, I honestly believe these will be a myth to cop because of the hype around them, because of what they are, I think. You know, everyone tried to get the original Jordan 1s, like they've done the Lost and Found, which is the nearest to what he was wearing in the film. These ones are actually for the film. So they've got that little kind of, what do you call it, 3D kind of effect on it. You only watch a film and it's 3D, but you take off the glass and it looks like it's all blurred around the side. Like, that's, you know, you've all seen the cartoon. If you haven't seen the cartoon, go and watch it. They've got that around the top of the hill. It's a high as well, which is... Gives it the kudos, what everyone want. No one want a mid of this. They would they would go missing. It looks like it's got um leather around the overlays and a bit of suede as well around the little toe and around the heel. Where the ball wings are around the top, around the heel, it's got that, like I said, that 3D effect around there. Black laces, I'm hoping they swap it and put some white laces or give you the option to put white laces in as well because. I think it brings it down a bit. I know there's people out there going, it's got to be black laces, but for me, I think the white ones just sit better, you know. You've got a traditional red sole Jordan one, and yeah, um, it looks neat. It looks neat. I'll definitely try and get go for these. You want to know the price in £180. Crazy, crazy, crazy prices, crazy days. But it's £180, man. But yeah, um, let me see if we get it again. Spider-Man. Across the Spider Verse, Jordan One High, next chapter. Got to go for them. So yeah, um, just moving on now, isn't it? So next one I can see, twenty fourth of May, we have the release of the Jordan Six Toro Bravo. Now I like these. It's just like a, it's like a Chicago red Jordan. Do, do you know what I mean? It's just red and black, bit of ice blue on a heel on the sole. And that Jordan 6 silhouette. It looks like it's a completely suede upper. It reminds me of, I've got, I'm showing my age now. It reminds me of the Patrick Ewins. You know, just, just big, bright, clumpy, red kicks. These look fire. I can't lie. I, um, I like these. You know, I don't know where I'd wear completely red kicks, but definitely one I'll definitely try and go for. 180 pounds again. I believe these will be on sneakers and, I think the bigger size will go as usual, and but I think they'll sit. If I'm honest with you, I think they'll sit. You know, actually, 
could we pay there around then, Ty? So we might jump on it, but I think they'll sit. That's that's my opinion. So I'm hoping I can get my hands on them and yeah, enjoy them, man. I I I, I don't even think I've got a Jordan Six in my collection, which is mad. Or have I? I have to have a look, but I don't think I've got one where I've like, yeah, I'm happy to. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't know what that face was, but yeah, I haven't got one of those anyway. Next, 27th of May, we have the Jordan 1 High OG Craft. Now, I know Jordan 1's are sitting, but I think this is one which is decent. I've I got to say, I think it's decent. Be- you know, it's it's got an off-key, off-key. So cell color white or off white kind of trend to it. The leather looks like it's that nice kind of leather. I'm not too sure what the tick is made of. Is that like a crushed kind of suede? I'm I'm not too sure. If I if I'm honest with you, you've got a um, beige sole, um, off white or cream midsole. It's kind of the same color as the upper. I like the laces on it. Yeah, this is just a decent one. It's a high as well. So it's just, it looks like it's, it's, it's one of those ones you could get instead of getting an all white Jordan one. Do, do, do you know what I mean? It's got to look something different to it. So I don't think I've said the price. If I have, just bear with me. It's 170 pounds. Again, I think it's going to have sneakers. Like these are going to be in some raffles. I see that end will probably have these as well. So yeah, if, if, if you're still into Jordan ones and you're liking and feeling them, I think it's definitely one to have in your collection. Last and not least, the last release of the month for me, which is kind of different, I would say, is the Nike Double MW 005 Slide Light Grey. Now, I saw these being released some time ago in different colours. This It says light grey. This looks kind of blue, if you ask me. I don't know how these are made. It looks like it's a mold and it's a, it's meant to be a multifunctional slide. So you can see it's got holes in it. You can breathe. Um, it's got quite a bit of a cushion to the sole. So I'm assuming they're going to be quite soft when you put them in. It covers up your toes. So, you know, you're not going to have something falling. So, so falling your toe when you're wearing them. So it looks like you can wear them for in places where you wouldn't really wear slides and feel a bit more protected. They're either going to sell because they're unique or they're going to sit because the price of these is the price of a Jordan. It's 170 pounds. But how does it equate? You say slide, 170 pounds. 170 pounds slides. It makes no sense. It makes no sense just makes no sense but that's it man i mean i hope you know you've seen something there you might want to cop or not cop maybe just say may's done in it i'm out i'm nothing i need there but those are my picks for may there's all others you know you're always gonna have the pandas <laughs> you know they're released every other day so if you haven't got a pair you still got a chance to get some pandas if you want some pandas my top pick for the month of may hope you enjoyed if you haven't already please like subscribe Definitely leave comments. Let me know what you want to pick up or not pick up. And I'll see you again next video. Peace.